Okay, here we are back in Sentinels of the Multiverse. So, we are going to go up against Dendron's variant, and I'm going to bring variants here just to mix things up a little bit. So we have the Stranger in the Corn, which is his damage form. The important thing to note is that you can cause allies to attack for you. So if they have some sort of damage amplification going on, you can basically bank on that. Then we're bringing the Berserker Knight. You deal damage based off of what you destroy. We're bringing Ministry of Strategic Science Terminus, which is kind of ridiculous. If you can generate enough tokens to keep her pretty healthy. Like, I can do... I think that's probably going to be her best variant, her best form, period, but... Yeah. Because, let's see, normally she... Oh, she's only two normally. Okay, never mind. Uh, for Echelon, we're going to bring her first... Her, yeah, her first response form. This is going to give you additional card draws so you can find what you need. And then we're bringing Drift, 1789. Okay, that's not... I don't know why that popped up there. Probably because you're supposed to look at her Drift card or something, I assume. I don't know. But anyway, this is her form that plays more on goings. Now, for the Dendron variant, she plays a lot more of her tattoo card, so I definitely need some damage, hence him and potentially her. <laughs> um, Environment-wise, I'm going to save the Cybersphere for a different game so that I can uh, do the 2199 variants. So we're going to go to the Dungeons of Terror. Plus, Cybersphere is a pretty friendly environment, I guess. So let's hop in. So I'm assuming that's something that comes with the environment, the little natural 20 thing. I will put an end to you and your farcical games. Are you insulting my new face? I assume, like, I haven't read the lore for these guys, but I assume Stranger is like a plant homoculus type thing. But anyway, uh, Dendron's going to play the cards from under her, and once she plays them all, she flips and then starts to replenish them, and she'll cycle like that. So out comes the Shaded Owl. Uh, Painted Viper. And she also has the Wolves under her. In case you doubted me, there you go. So, two damage across the board. We have Stranger take the shot. So we do have the Glyph of Perception here. In case you're wondering, this one just allows you to play runes out of turn, which I assume the cards under her still count towards, otherwise we're, it's going to be a little dicey, I'll put it that way. So, I kind of want to kill the owl first. Although I guess you probably could just burn her down if you try hard enough. I mean, we'd be hitting her for almost a tenth of her HP on turn one. Okay, it has to be an ongoing card, I just wanted to see that. Defender of the Realm, that gives us... Yeah, we're gonna end up playing this one. So I want to look for the thing with the most HP, which in this case is Plate Mail. And then for damage taken, I am going to have Echelon take the damage reduction. And then we are going to destroy the Plate Mail, so we get to deal 6 points of damage. Jailbreaker already. So I can deal three cold damage with this and also heal, but I'd rather do the Jailbreaker. So Jailbreaker just keeps shooting until you're done shooting. You can literally hit everything and anything you want. Got the Soul Ignition. Ooh, we have the Kestrel already. We're able to play that with our normal power, so I'm not going to do that. I am much more inclined to... Yeah, I think I want to do this one. So we get Remote Observation and Breakthrough. Sweet! Put Breakthrough into play. Lightning damage to the owl, and we will break through. 
So we get a deployment, and we're going to hit the let the Kestrel in the field. In case you're wondering, Kestrel, I think, heals and does damage. One or the other has two different powers. Or no. Huh, so it just heals you regardless, but that's good to know. Anyway. I'd rather save that for a different time. I'm inclined to do this one. heritage. So I'll go ahead and play that, which will allow me to play this. We can't play this because it's a focus card, it's one or the other. This is the one that... Actually, hold on, we want to play this one, wrong one. And we got another Adagio. Now comes Underleveled. Choking inscription. So I will look at that in a moment. I want to read this. So the top card is a fake card. Damage dealt by villains is more. If it's not, then heroes deal more, and then you destroy that at the start of the environment turn. So we get a plus one this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, eight. Okay, the fate thing does favor the villains slightly more. As for the play thing, I am going to give this to Stranger. Echelon can get by without playing cards. Now comes the next Painted Viper, so we can put this out. I'm going to give this to Terminus to offset the damage he takes from Jailbreak. Sure footing. Like, I have the effect in play, so I might as well use it.
So I'm trying to think of what card play would really be good here. And I'm leaning towards Soul Edition. So I think she's going to flip next turn. I'm going to get rid of this one. And how am I for tokens here? Six. So we're going to use her power. Or I could do this one. Yeah, I like this one a little better. Another Knight's Heritage. Since I can't really use this, I'm just going to draw it. Shopkeeper reels top card each hero deck move beneath this card. Mark of the Bloodthorns, not really helpful. Defender of the Realm, not helpful. So comes Ursa Major. Crap. Okay, for the shopkeeper. At the start of their turn, player may discard a card to play or draw one of their cards from beneath us. So we want the Bone Leech to stay. We can discard Corruption. And we actually want the Stranger to have this. Actually, wait, that came out at the wrong time, didn't it? Screw it, let's get rid of it. I'll take the car draw, even though I think it's ending here. At this point, I'm going to fish for the Nemesis damage, since we don't have the underleveled bonus anymore. Let's get our plate mail back. We'll give this protection to Stranger. Yeah, let's just go for damage. I'm going to skip this just because I have the return fire anyway. And 
yeah, it's really that fast. As long as you have the damage to power through, she can melt kind of easily. And, like I said, I wanted to make sure I brought guys who could deal damage, like the Berserker Knight and Terminus. Echelon was here more for containment purposes, like drop the Tesla Knuckles in case I need to peel away all of the uh, tattoo she plays. And then Drift was a nice support while still being able to deal some damage. But yeah, that is another one that bites the dust. Hopefully you can see how much easier she is on this side. Well, this variant. Part of it, I think, it was I was so frustrated by Pyre that that game was torture. <laughs> and I'm not looking forward to when I have to go up against Grey, because then we have to play with more radiated cards. But anyway, that is it for now, folks. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.